Okay, so we in our, our last session. Yes. The sun is out. It's beautiful. The birds are chirping. Yes. It's like it's going to be over 80 degrees today here. Mm -hmm. And we're bare feet in the grass. And we're loving it. Oh my. <laughs> so I have, uh, in the last couple of weeks, which have been cold and wet, of course, um, I've, I've had a chance to do nine, count them, nine yoga sessions. Nine. I'm impressed. You know why? Because I finally integrated it. I, fi I figured out how to integrate yoga in my life. Good. So today is going to be my version of what I do with what we've done so far, mm -hmm. my favorite exercises and all that. Yeah. And then, uh, and hopefully you can, you know, add a few things uh, along the lines of what I'm doing and to help me tweak that. Mm -hmm. And that's what I encourage you guys to do is, is you take these, they're actually 19 sessions, including this one. Right. Yes. You take these 19 sessions and you boil them down to the exercises that you, that you enjoy doing and try to cover the whole body, right? That's right, so absolutely. So you want to cover the, you know, the legs and the balance. And I'll show you what I do with balance. I figured that oh, one out nice. at the same time. <laughs> so, uh, so I can't wait to get started and uh, to show you guys what I've learned. I'm going to be doing this all summer long, mm -hmm. and then come back in the fall. We're going to have uh, another new program that we're going to do together. Correct. Where I'll take a, we'll take a group of four people, and we'll do a yoga session together. Mm -hmm. And then we'll do a golf session together afterwards, okay? And that way we'll get our students to warm up properly and, and get into, get into the, the zen and get, get the, the proper brain waves going. Mm -hmm. and, then, and then we can get into the golf session and then we'll see where that leads us. So I'm really excited about it. Great idea. Looking forward to it too. Okay. <laughs> Good. So on the back. Yes. So I'm probably going to play more of a supervision role today, yeah. make you do your things and Perfect. We'll see how it goes. So you recommend that I start it on my back and just uh, as, a, as a stretch for the hips, I'm bringing knees to chest. Mm -hmm. Hips and lower back here. Yeah, and I'm, I'm just feeling a nice stretch. I'm going to do a couple of breaths here. Good. And what Sean's been doing is really modifying what we've done together to really suit his need and his body. And that's important when you start practicing yoga is to really listen to what the body needs and wants and then migrate towards those specific postures. And here is incorporating a little bit of core work. So he's doing the simple knee to chest posture, but incorporating core work as he inhale, he extend the legs out completely and exhale knees to chest. Good color commentating there. Oh, she's good. <laughs> I like how you're moving nice and slow and really connecting the movement to the breath. And pay attention as now you're focusing more on lower back, hips, but also core what's happening in the shoulders and neck area. So make sure that there's no tension building in that region. On your next one, see if you can externally rotate the shoulders so your palms come up when you open your arms. Just see the difference. Good. Cool. Mm -hmm. It just allows... It feels very different. Yeah. How different does it feel for you? Feels like I'm abandoning myself ah, to the exercise. Very it's nice. It's more abandoned in yes. the exercise. Yeah. It's more opening, right, in the yes. chest area. Yep. Exactly. So once I feel it's a little warmed up, I'm going to go to my windshield wipers. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to do a, a couple of the, the normal knee ones. Yes. So the windshield wipers as a reminder. So I'm preparing this, this side that's always gnawing, gnawing at me. Yes. And preparing in a way that you're not going to twist so much that you're at your 10 on your one to 10 scale, right? Exactly. Okay. And again, as a reminder here, it's just working on the internal, external rotation of the hips. And at the same time, still warming up a little bit the lower back. Then I'll go to this. Mm -hmm. Good. 
good. So what he's doing now is referred to as supine pigeon or figure fold. So he's kept his pelvis and hips nice and neutral, ankle on opposite knee, and now he's bringing the whole thing into a twist, keeping that leg position. And his breathing is really, as he inhale, he comes back to the center, and as he exhale, he goes into the twist. So here we're getting uh, into the glutes, into the sides of the body, the hips, the lower back. So for this side, Sean, see if you can externally rotate your shoulders, bring your palms up just for a difference. Okay. Okay. So how many reps would you do approximately? About four each side. Okay. Okay. Feels different in the chest with the hands mm -hmm. up. Are you getting a little bit more of a stretch in the chest? Yeah, that's actually. right. So I would encourage you to start thinking about doing palms up. Yeah. It's going to help counteract your C posture, okay? Because okay. we need to stretch those yeah. uh, pecs muscles. Okay, thank you. Good yeah. point. Good. All right, so now I'm going into bridge. Yes, okay. Good. So bridge, when you think of it, the foundation are the feet, back of the shoulders, and back of the head. But really the primarily focus should be pressing the feet down as you engage the glutes and you lift up into your bridge. So well done, Sean. Yeah, I'm feeling really solid in the glutes, but mostly I feel like my, my core is getting so firm. Mm -hmm. I love this exercise. Good. And the, um, the, the, the top of the hip flexors here. Right, are you getting a little bit of a stretch, right? Yeah. And a, a workout. Mm -hmm. See as you articulate the movement down, if you can really start from the top of the spine and roll it all the way down, one vertebra at a time, because it's also a great exercise okay. to bring mobility to the spine. Oh, yes, we're okay. building strength in the glutes, but really we're also trying to bring mobility to the spine. So one vertebra at a time, all the way down. Good. Helps with lengthen, lengthening the breath. Correct, yeah. Also helps in discovering if there's any parts of the spine that are a bit dormant, right? We all have those. So we're just trying to... Should I go palm yeah. up? So try palm up. So usually the traditional bridge pose in yoga, the arms are by the side of the body with the palms Ooh. down. Oh, hamstrings, right? A little bit? That, it, that made my hamstrings and glutes engage bigger because I had less, I was using less of my arms to do it. I'm wow. glad, I'm glad you're pointing that out <laughs> because really we want to use our feet and our legs, not our arms in bridge pose. So, as I was saying, usually the arms are by the side of the body with the palms down, but there's no right or wrong, really. All we're trying to do here is move the spine, strengthen the glutes, and deepen the breath. So then, if I'm feeling good, what I'll do is I'll go back up and yeah. do three to four breaths while holding it. Good. Excellent. So. Let's hold here for a few breaths. Sean is doing it really well here. His knees actually have stayed in line with the hips, so same width of the hips. If you notice when you're doing at home that the knees are opening, I want you to lower down a little bit and maybe put a block, a block between the knees or a towel so you really keep the alignment of knee to hip. And if you hold here for a few breaths, really focus on feeling the expansion in the front of the body. Belly, chest, front of the thigh. Extend the leg if you're getting a little bit of a cramp. That's what I'm getting. <laughs> That's right. 
and maybe it's a sign that we need to lower down. We'll take a nice breath in and lower down. And always take a moment in between postures just yeah. to pause and feel, right? Okay. So I go to table. Okay. Is that cool? That's cool. Should I, is there another exercise you could recommend I do one more on my back? So you've done your uh, windshield wipe whoppers. You did some twists. The, the, I find the upper, bo upper body twists are less... I do those in bed, actually, sometimes. Okay, okay. Um, to, so to stretch the chest. Mm -hmm. So that would be... Exactly, your alligator twists. Right. Good. So you get a nice um, stretch in the pec. Correct. So now he's stacked his shoulders and hips and his knees. And as much as possible, really work with the shoulders. So Sean's doing it beautifully. He's not leading with the arm. The arm is obviously moving, but the turn comes from the torso and the shoulders, right? Could you eventually do like a two pound or uh, a two pound dumbbell to um, increase the a little resistance? when you get used to it? You could. Um, there's actually other exercise that would probably be better because okay. I'm finding that with the weight, there would be a lot of compensation happening in the body as opposed to working the exact uh, muscles we're trying to here. So I'm just gonna hold your hips in place for right. a moment here just to give you a different feeling, right? So we're not going as far and that's fine. We I just, could use my bolster for that. That's right, you could put your bolster in your back. I just bought a new bolster. Yeah. <laughs> He's turning full yogi on us. Love it. All right. <laughs> All right, and so, then you would turn the other side. Oh, look at that. Money. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's my tip. <laughs> yeah. I'm just going to take this off here. So once your joints are stacked, you inhale as you open. Beautiful. And you exhale as you close. So typically what I will see in this movement and most of the student initially is that the arm is actually going to get behind the shoulder, yeah. not a lot of shoulder turn. Right. Um, so just keep that in mind when you're doing it at home, that we need that arm to stay in front or on top of the shoulder. Never, never too much back here. Never I'm too much. I'm feeling a stretch here though. Yeah, but this is good. What yeah. I'm talking about is people that have over flexible joints and oh. they bring their arm all the way down. Like, oh, well, can, that's no danger with me Yeah, though. yeah, exactly. <laughs> no, with you it's perfect. I'm I'm talking to your folks here. <laughs> talking to my peeps. That's right. It's a teacher in me that, you know, would like yeah. to see everybody in front so I can help everybody. So I'm going to hold your hips in place so you can feel the difference a little bit. Yes. Good. Yeah, nice stretch in the pec. Good. All right. Good. So. All right. So really good here for thoracic spine and shoulders and, and stretching the, the, the pecs as well. So this is when I go to my table. Yes. So table is hands and knees. So since I've been on my back doing those exercises, I'll go straight into my uh, child's pose. Okay. Yeah. yeah, so do your thing that you usually do at home. And it feels like I'm getting an amazing stretch on the quads. Both knees crack nicely. <laughs> <laughs> Making space for those joints. <laughs> Good. At the same time, are you getting a nice stretch for your lats? Yes. Good. So here, Sean has curled his toes under. So I don't know if it was because he was cramping up. Just a bit. Okay. Um, but it's also a good way to do child's pose to stretch the sole of our feet, right? Yeah. Again, you start with a traditional yoga postures and then you modify as you go along. All right. So I'm going to start with uh, my leg raises. Okay. So I'm continuing to expand on my uh, glutes and lower back. Great. So I'm going to do a couple of breaths here. Okay. And as you hold here, see if you can support the lower back with the core a little bit. So navel towards the spine. Yeah. And if you watch Sean's line here, it's really a nice plane in the lower back. His glute is engaged, the hamstring as well. Then I'll do a couple of breaths. Beautiful. So bringing stability work, balance work, 
strengthening as well on the arm that is supporting here. Yeah, and my back. Mm -hmm. My upper back. Yes, so upper back, so right. Really stabilizing the shoulder, good. And every, and it's different every day. Some days I can go an extra breath. And... Right. That's why we call it a yoga practice as opposed to a yoga session, because the practice evolves, right? It changes every day. You smell that freshly cut grass. I know. Oh, man. <laughs> like, this is the best yoga session so far. <laughs> Great. <laughs> So first the extension of the leg and here I would um, encourage you every time you inhale to think of extending from the hip to the heel, maintaining that gentle support of the core for the lower back. Yeah. Were your eyes closed? No, I just no. changed the position uh, of my eyes. Okay. Very nice. So as we inhale, we think of lengthening. As we exhale, we think of stabilizing. Keeping a blade of grass as a focal point. Good. <laughs> And notice, is there tension in the upper back? Is there tension in the shoulders? Just good tone. Good. All right. From so now I'm going to go core, um, little plank to cobra to child's pose. Okay. Do you do your cat cow usually? Oh, that's ah, right. I look, forgot about look that one. Look at that. <laughs> okay. All right. Yeah, that's a good one just to continue, you know, opening the upper back. Good. As you inhale, the tailbone leads first, then you unravel the rest of the spine. Look forward, shoulders back. Good. Sliding the shoulders back a little bit. Yes. And as you exhale, really use the glutes here. A few more I feel rounds. like I use the core a lot more than do that. Mm -hmm. So core is good, navel towards the spine, glutes as well, and really expand the space between the shoulder blade. Good. And when you do it at home, Sean, I would really try to focus. So as you inhale, come on back up, yeah? So here you have a nice curve, but here it's a little bit stagnant. So I'd like you to focus on softening all of this yeah. down. Yeah. Okay, you feel That's that? True. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So So in other words, pay more attention to, yeah, to this part than yep. your lumbar region, yep. okay? Because you do have that lumbar curve. Good. And I go Nicely knee to, done. Knee to chest. Okay. So lots of core work. Good. Good. So as you this in, is the one I was doing instead of the cat cow. Oh, I see what you right. mean. So you're combining both. Yeah. Okay, good. All right. Would that make sense? Yes, it would. Absolutely. Or I can alternate days, right? Yes, Do you cat can. cat cow one day and this the other day? Correct. What does yeah. it call this one? Um, this one is simply extending table extended and then table. knee to chest. Yep. Nice inhalation, heel driving back. I get to stretch the calf. Yes, that's right. So the stretch of the gap of your calf, you're obtaining it because you are engaging the legs and really dorsiflexing the ankle, right? So again, sometimes we will see students just keeping that leg limp, not not really engaged. Yes. So we want it to be active. Try to notice as you bring knee to chest how the arms are modifying a little bit, yeah. Stay there, take a nice breath here, and exhale knee to chest. Just reversing your breathing here, good. One last so one. So I got more room. Yes, <laughs> that's right. <laughs> Thank you.
Oh man, this Head. is great. Head. Okay, so, so um, from there I would do my uh, plank. Okay. To cobra to child's pose. All right. Okay. So we'll move this out of the way. All right. <laughs> Get the grass out Get of there. Get the grass out of there so you don't eat some grass on the <laughs> way down. <laughs> is that enough? Yep. Yeah, all, all set. All right. So. And this is great on the grass because it's nice and cushiony for the wrists. Good. Oh, look at you. Nice job. All right. Inhale, exhale all the way down. So in your cobra, stay there for a moment. Hug the elbows by the side of your body. Can you flatten your feet down so you really press the top of your feet down? Yeah. yeah. As well as the thighs down. Good. Oh, cramping up. Curl them under then. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta keep going, Chantal. Yes, I got I'm rhythm. sorry. <laughs> I've broken your rhythm here. Good. All right, I'll let you keep on going. I won't interrupt you in your rhythm. No worries. <laughs> you can interrupt anytime. <laughs> Good job. How many would you do of that usually, Sean? About 10. Okay. So here we're just focusing in Cobra on lifting shoulders and chest. Rib cage stays on the mat, good. And then back to the child's pose. Inhaling as he moves forward into his plank. Exhaling down. Inhaling into Cobra. Exhaling down, press the floor away. And child's pose, good. One more. Yeah, one more. Take a nice breath here. And exhale all the way down. Inhale into Cobra. And on your way up, I'm going to modify what you're doing. Press up into your plank, then go to Downward Dog. Lift the hips, scoop the belly. Beautiful. Nice. Take a nice breath where you are. And exhale your knees down and go to your child's pose. So that's oh, an yeah. option, right? From your plank, yes. instead of having to bring your knees down and go to child's pose, yeah. you could actually go directly to downward dog. Okay? It's just an option. And I think you're ready for it because you're nice and strong. So as long as you keep your back nice and long. Yeah. Okay? Bending your knees and downward dog if the hamstrings are screaming at you. Yeah, so... That's, I guess, where downward dog, that would be the question, right? So once I'm done here, mm -hmm. I typically go back into... Your standing. My standing. Yeah. And while I'm taking my time, mm -hmm. this is where I would do a little work on my... Your hamstrings. Hamstrings. So you could do that as you transition through downward dog as well. So I, I do curve back ones first. Yes. <laughs> taking it easy. Yeah. And then I, I try to lengthen my back beautiful and get my tailbone up correct shoulders away from your ears yeah relaxing the shoulders good it's a good one shoulders away from the ears yes <laughs> i see that in my in my uh, profession as well yes and then the idea is every nice breath you take you feel the lengthening from the tailbone to the crown of the head and it does not matter if the knees are bent, as long as there is a sustainable, healthy stretch, yeah. right? Sustainable is the word, right? Yes, yeah. 
and one that is actually um, bringing energy into the muscle as opposed to depleting. Right. Ah, right. That's, that's really well said. Right. No strain. No. Good. And now you would lower your hands down. Is that what you do at home? Yeah, just okay. a bit. Okay. Yeah. So I, I try to, you know, I exhale down. Yes. Breathe back up. And I, and I just try to make it dynamic. Mm-hmm. You know? Very nice. Where I can relax a little bit. Yes. And then... As I exhale, I get a little more stretch out of it. Right. Now, as you stay there, do you notice a difference in sensation in the hamstrings? Do you feel that they're opening up a little yeah. bit? Yeah. Okay. Okay. However little that is, yes. but I do feel hey. a difference here. <laughs> it's your level, right? That's it. So, after I do a little stretch, yes. I'll go and stretch my quads. Okay. And I'll do my balance exercise while I'm doing that, right? Wonderful. So, so now I'm warning you we're on grass. Yeah. Oh, look at you. So I'm looking for that stretch in the quad. Yes. So alignment, I would say try to keep the knees close to one another as opposed okay. to opening your knee to the side. Okay. Yeah. Then try to bring the tailbone forward a little bit. Okay. Good. And then what would you do? Stay here and breathe. Yeah. Good. And then if you want to activate the stretch even more, press your hand into your ankle, ankle into hand. So we're yeah. activating. Woo! Yes. I just changed task. <laughs> so, that's right. That's amazing. How your brain just goes there yes. and then you lose your balance. That's right. But your balance was great. Thank you. Uh, yeah. See, I've been doing nice. it. Nice. I've been doing it, actually. Uh, I don't know if you remember the first few sessions, but... Yes. So take the time, don't rush. Find a point you can focus on. And I usually say about eight feet away on the okay. floor. Nice, easy breath. So you're actually doing the dancer pose here. It's an actual yoga posture. Yeah, Ooh. yeah. Eventually the leg will open up and you'll bring a little bit of a chest opener. So think of alignment precision and yet ease into the body so bring the breath into this like chewing gum and walking at the same time right that's right you'll get better at that yes imagine that well yoga, I can't yoga I can't. will help you chew gum and walk at the same time <laughs> I'm really impressed with the balance because this is not this is challenging because we're not on a hard surface right, right? And he's developing focus. Really nice. Good. I don't know if you were faking the first session we did together, but your balance was gone. Okay. And look at this. It's because I've been doing it. I found a way to put it into my lifestyle. Thank, uh, you know, it took me so long to figure out how I'm going to do that. Right. Because yeah. of my busy schedule. Mm -hmm. And I've got my little half hour window from 7 to 7.30 while everybody else is getting ready. And I'm already ready downstairs exactly. and I'm waiting for everybody. And That's great. My pooch is sometimes a witness to it. So. <laughs> or participating. Yes. Yeah. So then once I've done the, that stretch. Right. I like to go back into one more stretch with my hamstring. Good idea. So, so would you say that the downward dog would be the downward place to go? dog would be a great place to go. Okay. I know that you were talking about that you were putting your hands on yeah, the counter. So, uh, yeah. Uh, well, th where I would go is, I'm going with this. Yes. So I'm I go back to my stretch. Yes. But with my arms up. That's right. And I'm getting my the my upper back Good. into it. So a modification that I could add here, if yeah. you wanted to stretch in a different way, is the same position, but your feet close to one another. You'll see it feels very different. So the idea is still to hinge back oh, at yeah. the hips. Oh yeah. You feel That's, that? Oh yeah, very yeah. different. And your hands are up in the air now, but we understand that when you're at home, they'd be on the counter or on the door no, or something. I'm trying to keep them up. Oh, you are? Yeah, because okay. I want to engage my seat okay. posture. Okay, so now you're kind of doing a chair pose more than anything. Okay. Yeah, could be, I just thought your hands were actually on a surface at home. 
Okay. I started that way, but then I wanted to do more, Chantal. Yeah, I can see that. <laughs> I like it. So now it's kind of a modified child's pose where you're actually stretching a little bit your hamstring in your case, yeah. right? We're all different. You're probably feeling your quads working a little bit too, yes. right? Yeah, and release. Yeah, okay. so I'm, uh, every breath I'm trying to get my, my hips up yes. and away. Mm -hmm. And then I just relax on the... So exhale, inhale, relax, exhale, give it a little bit more of a shock. Okay, okay. And, that, that, and this is typically where I would... Okay. where I would end my session. Perfect. Do you want to try the downward dog to see if that would sure. be another option? Sure. Okay. We'll do a couple of those. Good. So from here you need to walk a little bit more forward on your yes. mat so your okay. feet will remain on the mat. Okay. Yeah. Then we're going to bring our hands in front of our heart. Take a nice deep breath in. And as you exhale, hinge at the hips. Come all the way down, bringing your hands to the mat. And then you're going to step back with your feet into your downward dog. Good. Keep your knees bent so you can really focus on first flattening your hands. Yeah, we need the palms down. You need to claw at the mat with your fingers to protect the wrist, build strength there. I want the shoulders to be nice and broad. Relax your head between your arms. Good. And then from here, only think of shifting the hips up and back. Are you getting a hamstring stretch? Yes. Yeah. One to ten, where are you? Uh, uh, one to ten on the hamstrings, about five, six. Okay. All right. I can handle that. Okay, so if you done. feel it's too much, then you could uh, actually bend the knees a little bit more. Can you widen your hands a little bit? Widen your hands apart from each other. Yeah. And then really work on bending your knees and pressing back. So I want you to move back so your arms are straightening. Good. Wow. <laughs> knees down. Woo. <sighs> And intro uh, to downward dog huh? <laughs> intro to downward dog yeah <laughs> well after so i think i would replace that with a little bit of my um, my cobra then correct because my arms are feeling tired right now from from doing that workout right what you and could I, do i figure I, I need my arms to be in good shape uh, to, to to carry me through that position exactly so you have two options when you're do, doing your child's bows playing cobra sequence yeah. you could do it into a half plank because then your arms are not getting so much. Right, right, right. right. So instead of lifting the knees off, you're not gotcha. in full plank. Okay. You could modify so that. So half plank to save a little bit for the downward dog. Yeah, exactly. Deal. Exactly. And eventually downward dog, we all get to a point where, oh, look at that. It's actually relaxing to be in downward dog because you now distribute the weight on both your hands and your feet. Look at this. While we're chatting, you know? Yeah. Is this what you would do at home now? I would do that when I get home after work. Okay, I would my, say that my you My restorative. Sit. Yeah? Yeah, I got to do that. And, uh, I do that on the couch. Okay. When I turn on the golf channel, <laughs> see, see what madness is going on over there? <laughs> That's right. <laughs> so what I would suggest you do is actually sit on the bolster I purchased for you. Yes. Okay. I can't so wait to get, so I'm, I'm more supported. More supported. Right. So I put the bolster underneath my butt. Yes. And that way I'll be able to sit a little more forward. Correct. Instead of being like this. Feeling that you're leaning back. Exactly. Yeah. So it's less, uh, it's a little easy on the back and the hips. Perfect. Yeah. Chantal. Good job. That's awesome. <laughs> Enjoy your summer. Thank you. We're going to get too. out and play a couple of rounds I hope of golf. So. Right? I hope so. Yes. I and would then, like that. Uh, we'll see you all in the fall for our second stage of yoga for golfers. That's right. Bye awesome. everybody and keep on breathing. <laughs> <laughs>